hey, before you watch this whole video, you should know that you're able to slow it down if it's going too fast. All you have to do is click the gear icon and select playback speed. Any of these options above normal will slow it down. Hi, my name is Becky. Welcome to the Direct Message Video Tutorials. Today, we are talking about accessibility for Mac computers. So if you want to make your text bigger or you need help hearing or have any other needs, this is the tutorial for you. To locate our accessibility options, we'll need to find system preferences. This is what it looks like. You can find that icon in the bottom quick access toolbar. You'll also notice when your cursor hovers over the different icons, it will show the names of those apps. Left click on your mouse or with one finger press once on your trackpad to open up system preferences. This is the window that will open up. When you click system preferences, it might open this window that says iCloud at the top. If it does, don't worry, it's not necessary. To get to the settings, we have to click the left arrow at the top left of the window. After we click the left arrow, it brings us to a window that looks like this. It's called System Preferences. At the bottom of the System Preferences window, you'll see a blue icon with a person on it standing like this. That is the Accessibility menu. When we click on the Accessibility icon with the mouse or pressing the trackpad, it will open up this. So if you have difficulty reading or are hard of hearing, this is where you'll go to adjust the accessibility settings to make it easier for you to use this computer. Today, we're going to cover vision and hearing, but if you take a look and explore, you'll see that there are many more options in accessibility. If you have difficulty reading small text, click zoom on the left-hand side of the window. It will open up this menu. Left click with your mouse or press with one finger on your trackpad this empty square right here. It says use scroll gestures with modifier keys to zoom. Automatically this computer has set the zoom to the control key. The control key looks like this. If you're using a mouse with a wheel, you're going to press the control key at the same time as you scroll down the wheel of the mouse to zoom in on what you're looking at. You'll notice that by turning or scrolling the wheel on the mouse, that will control zooming in and out on the computer. If you're using a trackpad instead of a mouse, you're going to press the control button and take two fingers, drag them up the trackpad to zoom in, and drag them down the trackpad to zoom out. Now to make the cursor bigger, click display located on the left hand side of the window. Right here where it says cursor size, there's a slider where you can adjust the size of the cursor. To adjust the size, you're going to click it, hold it down, and either slide it to the right to make it larger or slide it to the left to make it smaller. If you have a hard time hearing and need closed captions, be found on the left-hand side of the window. To turn on captions when they're available, check this box by clicking on it with your mouse or pressing with one finger on your trackpad. If you have trouble seeing details in videos or pictures, you can turn on audio descriptions. On the left-hand side of the window, click descriptions and it will bring you here. Check this box by clicking with your mouse or pressing with one finger on your trackpad to play audio descriptions when they're available. Depending on how new your computer is, you might have access to something called Siri. Let me tell you about Siri. Siri is a voice assistant that you can use if you have trouble doing things such as typing. You can also ask her questions and she'll likely have the answer. You can even ask Siri to look up something for you on the internet. To enable Siri, select Siri on the left-hand side of the window. Press with your finger on the trackpad or click with your mouse the word Siri on the left-hand side of the window and it will bring you here. Clicking with your mouse or pressing with one finger on your trackpad to open Siri preferences. It will bring you here. Check this box to enable Siri. 
And that brings us to the end of today's episode. Click here to watch the next one.